Hi, uh, my name is Ara Hurst and I'm a lecturer in the Department of Management Sciences. Today I'll tell you a bit more about the Management Engineering program at the University of Waterloo. When they graduate, engineering students receive a Bachelor of Applied Science, which fundamentally means that they are able to apply science to designing and building solutions to problems. In Management Engineering, we apply management sciences to design and build management systems. Over the course of this presentation, you will learn more about what those management systems look like, but for now, Let's review the three main sciences that make up the management sciences. The first is operations research and analytics. This means to use math to model and solve real world problems. The second science is computer science, which we use to build software and information systems. Finally, we use psychology and economics to build systems that are suitable for and benefit the people and organizations that will finally use them. How is all this reflected in the management engineering curriculum? First, management engineering students begin building a solid foundation in math, science, and engineering fundamentals. This includes courses in chemistry, physics, electrical circuits, thermodynamics, material science, as well as calculus, algebra, and computer programming. Then, they also begin taking courses in each of the three areas. In operations, research, and analytics, core courses include, include advanced probability and statistics, optimization, and supply chain management. Students can further specialize through courses in advanced optimization and scheduling, among others. In the second area, software and information systems, students take a number of computer programming and software engineering courses, and then they can further specialize through electives, such as data mining and search engines. Finally, in the third area, students take courses in economics, financial management, and organizational psychology. A number of electives are also available. Management engineering students use the knowledge learned in all three areas and apply to design management systems. While design permeates many of the courses in the program, it's most prevalent in fourth year courses, including decision support systems and the capstone design project. In the course of this presentation, you'll learn more about at least one example of such a system. First year engineering life can definitely be overwhelming. There's so much thrown at you all at once. You're trying to keep up with your courses, make, friends new, make new friends on campus, develop your professional career, and on top of that, you're away from home for an extended period of time for the first time in your lives. It really is a big change of pace. Luckily, at UW, there's many avenues for you to be able to seek support in your first year. First, as management engineers, you're part of cohort-based classes. This means that you'll share classes with management engineering students from 1A all the way to 4B. It serves as an amazing way for you to make friends and lasting relationships. Along with that, in your first year, you have WEAVE TAs. These TAs are upper year undergrad students that are dedicated solely for first years to help them succeed in their various courses. As a past WEAVE TA, I would definitely recommend for you to seek help to your, with your MSI 100 TAs for help with anything, whether it is course related or life related. Additionally, make sure you use Prof's office hours as they're the ones responsible for creating your midterms and exams. They'll be able to immediately explain concepts and ideas to you. And lastly, management engineering is a tight knit program, not only within cohorts, but also across cohorts. Upper year management engineering students also hold mentoring sessions such as resume critiques and interview workshops to help first years prepare for their first co-op. The first year courses offer specialization in management concepts right off the bat. The Management Engineering Concepts course introduces students to the basics of what it means to be a management engineer. In addition to this, core engineering courses such as chemistry, linear algebra, calculus, and physics are taken in the first semester. The 1B term, or winter term, includes other management-specific courses such as Introduction to Computer Programming and Work Design and Facilities Planning. Additionally, students will also take Electrical Circuits, continue with another Calculus course and Physics II, and also be able to take part in seminars. Seminars are offered weekly for one hour to help students prepare for their upcoming co-op term by allotting time for resume suggestions and how to navigate their first interview. Over the co-op term in the spring, students are required to take an online professional development course, PD20. That is focused on developing reasoned conclusions in the engineering workplace. Professional development courses are required to be taken five out of the six co-op terms. 
An upper year course that is offered as an elective is data mining. This is one elective that I took that created a great foundation for everything data science related. The course covers well-known algorithms and statistical foundations for data science. There are also numerous times in which we can clearly connect the path between what is learned and its real world application. A group of classmates are currently working on updating the engineering quiz, a tool to help high school students clearly identify what type of engineering program they should go into based off of their interests and experiences. The algorithmic, algorithmic background of this tool is based on a data science algorithm called Naive Bayes, which is used to calculate the probability of the strongest matching program based on the interests of the user. This course provided the necessary foundation to be able to make this tool. In addition, this course has opened up a range of research opportunities in data science. By working with a professor in the management sciences department, I used text mining and classifying to analyze Reddit comments to help explain the potential gender gap in STEM careers. This real world application of a problem is important for so many reasons and will be presented to an international data science audience. Data science is a booming field with great opportunities, not only in the form of research, but also at leading companies. The foundational knowledge from this course has not only piqued an interest in the field for me personally, but has also allowed me to very basically apply what I have learned in many different ways. Now, let's talk about the different types of jobs each co-op student can get at various uh, levels of their career. At each phase, students can get a variety of jobs. At the junior phase, the beginning level, students are commonly in roles that have the title such as project control coordinator or analyst assistant. At the intermediate level, we build off the skills at the junior level to further develop our professional careers. These types of roles can be things such as full stack developer or a full-time analyst. At the senior level, many of these jobs will take on the same title that you will have as an actual engineer entering the workplace. So this includes things such as a software engineer or developer, a consultant, and even a data scientist or data analyst. During my first co-op, I worked at a tech consulting firm as a quality assurance analyst. I then moved on to, as a front-end developer, working at an ad tech startup, building, designing, and prototyping different brand and content placements. During my third co-op, I worked at a fintech company as a mobile developer, and at my fourth co-op, I worked at a cloud software company um, as a full stack developer as well. Um, I then moved to working in a consumer social media app. And then finally, during my last internship, I just finished working my last co-op as a, at a venture capitalist firm. These co-op experiences allow me to gain applicable knowledge in the workforce and allow me to apply my skills learned in management engineering. And upon a graduation, I'll be utilizing my skills as a software engineer in New York. So how did management engineering and the co-op program gave me an advantage? Well, first off, the courses that I took in my management engineering degree um, gave me the technical experience to be able to work on the projects at my co-op. Secondly, this program enables you to be multidisciplinary and well-rounded due to the exposure of the three themed areas. Uh, next, management engineering co-op also gives you a variety of unique experiences. For example, I was able to work in a co-op in a small startup of over 20 people um, versus also a huge established company with over 5,000 people. Um, in addition, management engineering also teaches a lot about optimizing for efficiency and effectiveness. And with these concepts, I'm able to apply the skills learned in uh, this program through my co-op. Uh, finally, management engineering prepares us very well so that during our co-op experiences, we have a lot of ownership of our work, we have a lot of autonomy, and we have a lot of say in the decision making of projects that get reflected to the company as a whole. Co-op employers in management engineering are companies in consulting, technology, banking and finance, and retail, healthcare, and manufacturing. Thanks for watching this presentation. For more information, please visit our website.